Those with cameras have to work fast again. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, is there any questions from the crowd right now? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Gunn? What are your plans for what to find the inequity between the schools in North Community Colleges and the schools in the South of the CSA? What is my plan to rectify the funding? Is there any between the campuses? I don't know if I have a plan to do that right now. I'm just trying to find enough money for the global picture. And it's up to the regions to, to decide to, to spend, spend that money in the correct fashion. Southern Nevada needs money real bad because we grew faster. And unfortunately, there are disparities within the campuses in the Southern Nevada area. CSN, not enough faculty for the, for the student body. Nevada State College, brand new, low funding. UNLV, stuck with an old, archaic funding formula whereby every student that enrolls at Nevada State College or CSM takes money away from UNLV. That's not right either. So we have to find a way to do it. I don't know why the regents aren't addressing that problem and coming to us and saying, here's the problem, here's the solution. Now, help us find the money. They haven't done that. I, you know, they, they just don't do things sometimes proactively. The answer, Doctor, is that's it. Uh, all I can find is enough global money to hope the regents will spend it properly. I, I thought the funding formula was at the legislative level and the money they give to campuses, they decide on, the regents have to follow. I, I'm still new. It's a still essentially a body count for every campus. Regardless of how technical your campus might be, uh, you know, an education student doesn't consume as many dollars to be educated as a chemistry student. I think you all perceive that. But if you have a technical nature, I mean, obviously a UNLV, UNLV has more technical students, but they're essentially reimbursed and stay the same as if they were all education students. It's just one of those things that has never been addressed. And well, it was created 40 years ago. It, it's, it hasn't changed. CSN, it's a straight thing. I mean, you don't, you're not top heavy on technical. You're, you're, you're good on trade and technical and basic education, but you're still just paid by the student. And so, you see, the inequities are everywhere. And I'm sure within each school there are inequities about how that money is distributed. And only the regents can really make that change. We would create a new formula if the regents said, here's a better way to fund. We're just chasing our tails right now trying to find the tax to pay for, for what we have and what we hope to restore. Uh, any other questions? Students? Adam? I don't want to put you excuse me, I don't want to put you on the spot, Senator, but can you give us a ballpark? Is there any ballpark being talked about as far as we have? I don't know whether I could say a uh, ballpark on what the cut is, because I think what we need to do is talk about how much money we need to raise. And I can I can relate to that. I think we need to raise over a billion dollars, honestly, well over a billion dollars, maybe a billion, two or three. I know that there are votes for 600 or 700 million right now. In the tax increase. Yeah, even, even the most tax averse people in the building are enough of that, more than two thirds, are going to supply the votes for that six or 700 million. But that still leaves you down. In fact, it takes 800 million just to bring your the, the pay cut the elimination of health benefits, uh, reduction in uh, longevity pay, and one other thing, to your faculty, 800 million, just to restore them to the salaries and benefits they have today. And we don't have enough commitments to even restore all of that. So now, when you talk about a growth in student population, and uh, you know the fact we were underfunded anyway, we're down a lot. So I, I think we need a billion, two or three at least. <laughs> try to keep us, you know, somewhere close to 2007. I don't know if we can get the votes for it. That's, that's our problem. But that's, that's a good number to shoot for. Uh, yeah. I'm not a part of this group, but I have a question. Um, how much more than the uh, money, than the uh, tuition that's put into the uh, general fund do, does, do the colleges get back than is put in? Because I know that they get, they get more back. I, I recognize you. You are not part of this group. No. You can butt out. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is a guy that didn't want anything, anything spent on your behalf. 
Okay. We have a lot of his kind around here. Ouch. I don't pay much attention to him, but I listen every now and then. Point is, he doesn't have any right bugging, butting into your group. Oh, I apologize. That's all right. I'll Sorry. talk to you later. Now, well, he's you know, reactionary. What can I say? You know, he just wants to take it. Well, we fight this kind of guy all the time. Do you understand? No. Is anybody here afraid of confrontation? No. You don't? You have to read the name. Public You're walking life. here with a coffin. Yeah. Yeah. You walk in public life. If you cannot identify your enemy from your friend, and you tell your enemy to go where he belongs, Keep them close to you when you need to, but separate them from the good people. He's not one of the good guys. He's not a legislator either, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay? yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you think there's, uh, I mean, this, I mean higher ed education is obviously important to us, but looking at uh, K through 12, is there something that, I mean, mentioned the Board of Regents can do stuff to, to improve higher education. Is there something K-12 can do um, okay, to improve 12. their operation and, and, and how they work? Is there a problem with their funding? Yeah, K-12 is, or is there, like what needs to be updated there? K-12 is under just as much scrutiny as higher ed on whether or not educators are productive or whether or not there are too many administrators. You read in the paper by people who do not like the university that there are too many people that are highly paid at the university. So you also read on K-12, some people are, maybe there are too many administrators. There's all these old cliches that keep coming up every time there's a discussion about spending. K-12 is, frankly, better organized because they have the, the ability of the teachers' union to fight hard, and the administrators' union. I mean, they're really united, but they have not abandoned uh, higher ed. Higher ed and K-12 have been sticking together real close in this session. My guess is that uh, they, they will uh, pull you up too. Because the, you know, the teachers union is highly supportive of a lot of people in the, edu in the elections. And so I think, particularly in December, you're gonna find a strong sympathy for K-12. And if they get votes in K-12, K-12 gets votes in December, maybe they can get them for all of us. Yeah. Well, there's no easy answer, is it? So, Look, you made a sacrifice to come up here, and I really appreciate your show. Now i got to go in and get some more. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. My salute to you. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. Not your first trip, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> Hey guys. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure. If, I know it was a long show, but I figured I'd ask. Yes, thank you. I was wondering, um, are you guys? Is anyone else playing Speak Next, or is it just uh, was that was that it? I think that's. Yeah. I mean, 